to, to acclimatise. But I don't know, he might know something I don't. It's not a massive advantage, but it's, um, it's a little summit. But you would probably be asleep at 2 a.m. and he would be getting ready to have dinner. Why is that an advantage? Um, it's nothing to do with getting to sleep and getting ready to have dinner. It's to do with a 10-hour flight. You know, it's a long, long way, and it's, um, it's going to be dangerous for him. All right, we look forward to the fight. Let's go back to Berlin and Steve Albert. Welcome back to Berlin, Germany. Thank you very much. Gus Johnson. Where later tonight it will be Frotch versus Durrell from Nottingham, England in the Super Six. Round six from Berlin. And wide left followed up by a straight right by Abraham who has come on after a slow start. But that is nothing unusual for the Armenian. Yeah, the, the logical script for this fight is being played out. Taylor Orley. Abraham comes on. Let's see how effective Abraham is when he comes on. And Abraham a lot more aggressive than he was in the first few rounds. Starting to turn it on in the Let's fifth up. round. Great. And he's got that fire in his eyes. And the best thing Taylor can do is if he thinks Abraham's about to punch, take a step at his man. All those punches will go around Taylor's head. Nothing will land. The crowd chanting for Arthur Abraham on the white front. Good body shots by Arthur Abraham. Has to take it out of you. The accumulative effect. Now he pushes Jermaine Taylor back with the jab, fires a right to the body. The jab by uh, Taylor is weakening, and now again, Abraham says low blow. And this could be a point. Many, many times, many, many fouls. One point deduction. One point deduction. One point deduction. I want to clean five minutes, okay? Guadalupe Garcia deducting a point Box. from Jermaine Taylor for excessive low blows. Well, we saw that coming in round two when there had already been two or three warnings. <laughs> Critical, though, Steve, that Taylor does not decide to abandon the body. He's landed clean there. He hasn't landed clean upstairs. And he's cautioned again by Garcia. You're right. Now, psychologically, he feels, hey, I can't go that way anymore. I'm going to get penalized. And it's a big point of his attack. So hard to get through that guard. Good right hand by Abraham. Back comes the jab of Taylor, pushing Abraham back. Abraham misses wildly with the left. Got him on the top of the head with the right. I see a lot less oomph on Taylor's jab. These hard punches to the body are starting to take their toll on Taylor. Abraham now playing around with Jermaine Taylor as the bell sounds. And here's action from round six. You see it's low. Abraham keeps those elbows so low that if you don't want to hit the point of his elbow, you have to punch below that point, and that's going to be a low blow, and that was a low blow. And Abraham comes back with a right hand. Maybe Abraham's best round, uh, but that was low, and, and given the warning, Steve, I don't have any argument with the point that does Famed trainer Uli Wegner. You best see it's happening. But do it. Listen to me, okay? Listen to me. Hey. Listen to my voice. Listen to me. Listen to my voice. Okay, one, two, one, two. Give him some punches, okay? Just a variety of punches. Do that. I'm going to say those are the scorpions. And you are correct, sir. Thank you. Very good, Steve. I know my Scorpions. Round seven, scheduled for 12. The Super Six World Boxing Classic underway from Berlin, Germany. Nottingham, England later with Frotz Durrell. 
Abraham really coming on the last few rounds and beginning to have his way now with Jermaine Taylor. Taylor's jab not having as much effect as it had in the first few rounds. Taylor uh, losing a point for low blows. And everything's going uh, Abraham's way right now. Yeah, 10-8 round in the sixth for Arthur Abraham. And I have Taylor up one point after six rounds. I think Abraham will take that at this point. And uh, Taylor missing with a right uppercut attempt there. He is best when he mixes with uppercuts and hooks, but we're seeing predominantly the jab. And we're now getting to that point that's very interesting, Steve, in terms of Taylor's stamina issues. It's the start of the second half of the fight. Where Taylor has begun to fade. Well, you look for the signs against Frotch. Taylor started walking backwards straight. That was a bad sign. So far in this fight, though, he's doing a very good job of keeping his hands up when Abraham punches. Yeah, the telltale signs uh, if he starts holding a lot and if his punch account drops. And Abraham knows that. So he's going to continue to pound away and then go back into his defensive posture. And the only thing, really, that's getting through from time to time is that pecking jab by Taylor. And it's not doing any damage. Oh, terrific body shots and upstairs by Abraham. Just more ferocity when Abraham punches. Punishing power, missing with the wide left hook. Watch the head, says Garcia. That's a warning for a kidney blow there. Abraham going for the knockout punch there, but missed. He was looking to close the show with that right hand. Abraham patient, waiting for his moment, got a left hook in. That startled Taylor. Taylor has to punch back when Abraham punches. That's when you can hit hey! Abraham. Well, the bell. Couldn't hear it, the crowd was so loud. When you put them ear mugs up, you got to step over and put that damn left hand down and throw the right hand. You got to do it. You can get him up out of here. Don't worry about the knockout It's boxing. Relax. 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 Action from the seventh again. Abraham snapping Taylor's head back. Look at that jab. He has really out jabbed Taylor, who's probably thrown three times as many jabs in the fight. Things getting urgent in that Taylor corner as we begin round eight. Taylor looking a little discouraged and perhaps realizing what everybody had been talking about with regard to the punching power of Arthur Abraham. And Ozell Nelson, Taylor's trainer, wants him to move to the right, pull down Abraham's left glove, and fire that right hand. We haven't seen that many right hands from Taylor. It is his best punch by far. It dropped Kyle Frotch early, even though Frotch got off the canvas to win. And it dropped Kelly Pavlin, who got off the canvas to win. Abraham has never been down. 30 and 0. 24 by knockout. Interesting. We've been looking for signs that Taylor might drop his gloves. It's Abraham who's boxing on the outside with his hands low at times. Interesting. Yeah. Real hard. 
Also komm, eins, zwei. Abraham starts off with that looping left hook. Also tries komm. to finish with the right. But those punches also didn't komm. land. Abraham is so damn inconsistent with his offense, though, Steve. He never has long stretches where he's effective. He is sporadic. You know, he boxes the way football teams play. He's either on offense or he's on defense. But he doesn't do both at the same time. Interesting analogy. That one got through that jab by uh, Taylor, but it's going to take a lot more than that to rock the chin of... Arthur Abraham. And the reason Taylor's jams are coming in there is because Abraham's hands have been down. Which is unusual for him. Well, it's good timing.